Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Batman Arkham Asylum by McFarlane Toys. And I have to say that this thing looks pretty damn ridiculous. In a good way. Um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm very impressed by this, and I hope that it holds up with its articulation and everything, because very cool looking Batman. And uh, I just, <laughs> I'll just keep on taking whatever he dishes out, man. I just hope that the worst thing he's ever done so far was that damn uh, Green Arrow thing. <laughs> Everything's moving forward from here on out, because that is a bad figure. I mean, he's not going to get everything perfect. Or, I say he, but he's not solely responsible for making all of these toys. He does have a team. So, <laughs> they hopefully will do a better job in the future on making the cinematic figures. I mean, the Wonder Woman wasn't terrible. Proportion wise, she had a little hiccups, but um, all in all, it was a pretty good design. But this Batman, and there's a Joker too, and don't worry, I'm definitely going to be doing a review of that one as well. I have it, it'll be followed by this Batman review. And I'm really excited about it. I'm sure that everyone is because it's not only a Joker, but it's a really good Joker. But we're still talking about Batman here, so let's just talk about that. I really actually like the cape with this one here. Um, I'll get to that in a second. I'll try to keep it a little tidy in here man I'm very limited on space around me so <laughs> yeah I got my review station just freaking packed over here so we get this awesome card which is just, you know basically Batman standing there static but looking pretty cool same as the artwork on the back we get our stand we get some weapons we've got a grapple gun a battering fully extended a battering that's been folded up and a bomb like a smoke bomb or something flash bomb something like that and the figure which looks tremendous feels good too yeah I just think they're making progress and like I've heard somebody already complain that like the head portions on this still look small, but I don't think so. I think that that's totally in the design um, and it works. I mean, I think, I think that works. What's crazy though is the likeness on the face really does, in my opinion, resemble like Christian Bale. So that's kind of cool too. Um, Let's see what we can do here with his weapons. Oh, some tight elbows. We do have single jointed elbows on this guy. Um, looks like they used different arms maybe for this. Which doesn't bother me none. I mean really, I don't care. I'm not one of those to go crazy about you know, whether or not we get single jointed or whatever elbows, I don't really care. Is his finger separated? It is. Not really separated, but he does kind of have a prominent trigger finger, so that, that works. It goes right in there. So cool. They're doing a great job over there at McFarland Toys, man. I have to say it. 
I don't really care. Like, <laughs> somebody on Facebook in one of the toy groups earlier today had made a comment because they were uh, trying to they were trying to make a dispute between McFarlane's DC character figures and NECA's DC figures, and basically saying declaring that you can't. You can't, you can't like both. I mean, I know he's kind of kidding, but, you know, you can't like both. You can only like one or the other because it's like sacrilege, but uh, I personally collect both. So, um, I don't have, I'm on the hunt for it. I know it's been spotted at Walmart and stuff. People are picking them up. So, I am going to try to get my hands on the uh, NECA. Batman or Predator 2 pack. I did pick up the Green Lantern one. And I know there's a Superman one somewhere floating around. So I will try to get those. But I do have the Green Lantern one. I do have the NECA Michael Keaton Batman. So I have some of the DC stuff from NECA. And it's good. I mean, I like it. But I have nothing against McFarlane. I mean, McFarlane's new to it. NECA's kind of been playing around with it for a while. Um... But I think McFarlane's doing a great job so far. This Batman seriously is off the chain. I really like it. Um, and yeah, I mean, he does still have 20, at least 20, 22 points of articulation. Um, I love the way the armor is on him. With the, the gauntlets and stuff. They're like armor pieces. Same with the boots, armored up. That cape actually looks pretty sick, the way it just kind of flows down and lays out. I really like that, too. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's cool. I like the paint on it. I like the, uh, the bat symbol. It's actually sculpted on. It's not just painted on there. Uh, and this guy, come on, man, look at this thing. That is pretty badass. I don't care, man. It's like... And yeah, the neck of Batman is pretty fucking dope. It really is. I mean, but it's it's different. It's uh, it's just stylized a little different. You know what I mean? That's just that's the whole point. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be getting both. I'm not ruling nothing out. I'm not saying any one's better than the other. Uh, I just I mean no. I know that McFarlane Toys is at least devoted to the DC multiverse and is gonna be making probably you know devoting more of their attention to DC stuff, whereas I feel like NECA is just kind of playing the field with it a little bit. So, you know, we're not, I don't think we need to expect a whole bunch of DC stuff from NECA, but McFarlane, you know, he's, he's locked in. He's got a contract, so <laughs> we're gonna, he's gonna be dumping these on us at least for the next four or five years pretty heavy, I hope. So, and then hopefully beyond that, because, I mean, he's just going to get better at it. I think he's already doing a great job, and these toys are fantastic. Um, I'm no longer giving a shit about the 6 or 7 inch scale. I love the 7 inch. They work just fine. Uh, so let me go ahead and do a comparison to our first McFarlane Batman that we got, which I still think is actually a pretty good one. I mean, there are people's complaints about it. I don't mind the small head. Yeah, it is a little small in proportion, but it still looks like a pretty cool Batman. So, I'm not going to knock it at all. I like this Batman. I like that Batman. So, I don't know. You guys, let me know what you guys think, man. I mean, he definitely stepped it up here, though. Went from this, from being a good, pretty cool Batman. It was fun. Had a little bit of problems with it. You know, people didn't all love it. And then he did this. <laughs> So, goddamn, <laughs> we got the Hell Bat. You know, we've got the animated Batman. Uh, we got a Harley Quinn. We've got Nightwing. There's a Batgirl. There's the Batman who laughs. I mean, it seems like McFarlane really is driving hard on the Batman figures. That's for sure. But I don't care. Bring them on, man. All right. So you guys, let me know what you guys think of this figure let me know what you guys think of the video don't forget to like comment and share and as always it's your boy master marvel lady here don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace